I'm gonna record a Cusco Uncut. If you watch every video we put up on this channel, then you've already seen this because I didn't need to edit it. But uh, for those of you that are watching Uncuts for the first time, you know that I edit... No. <laughs> so, that's, so there it is right there. I would usually cut that out in any other video that I film, but Cusco Uncut, we don't cut anything out. I mean, hence the name Cusco Uncut. It should speak for itself, right? Uh, so I've been, I've been having a rough day. Rough day? I've been having a rough couple of days the last couple of days. And uh, mainly because, well, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a lack of patience. Uh, honestly, honestly, part of it, I'm chalking it up to uh, coffee right now. I think that the coffee is kind of getting me in this like almost feeling like this anxiety type of feeling i don't think i've ever actually had anxiety or an anxiety attack but man it, it sure felt like it the last 24 hours um i think part of it is i just need to get back to normal life which for me meant means getting on the road a lot and going out and and being part of big shows and seeing lots of groups not just reptile shows but like concerts and and getting in the mosh pit and just being around lots of people as somebody who grew up as as an introvert it seems weird to feel that way but i feel like that's a big part of the balance of my life now is, is having all these big big group interactions these things that we're not having right now at all um and i did say that my friend scott that i met this saturday i've actually been fortunate you know i, I feel weird to complain at all about anything because my life is fairly fortunate in relatively speaking you know we're doing fairly well financially uh you know we're not we're not struggling to put food on the table and and things of that nature but but we are uh we are at home a lot more than than usual and, and not going out and spending these times in in big groups of people which i do find therapeutic and um you know, so much time around around the kids, and which is great. You know, I should be I should be fortunate for that, and I am fortunate to have so much time with my children, especially at this time when when uh, they're just young and growing up, and and it's the time that you really want to spend as much time with them as possible. Uh, and I don't usually, you know, growing up, I never talked about stuff like this. I always kind of kept everything inside, and I think a lot of times in the society of, of males we we learn to kind of keep a lot of things inside and and just kind of tough it out and and be tough which is there's there's definitely some benefits to that and there's something to be said for just being tough and and toughing things out and not not complaining but i i do think i do believe that it is healthier to let this stuff out rather than let it build up so that's what i'm doing uh i i left i came to our, our beautiful spot here where I, i've come and done a couple other cusco and cuts over the years Part of it is, it's not just the kids, it's not just the coffee, although right now I am feeling like I'm going to stop drinking coffee for a week and see how that goes. It's, it's everything. It's, it's, I've become more addicted to the internet and social media stuff, and, and I've spent a lot of time scrolling through stuff on my phone, not just out of boredom or laziness, but out of, it's a big part of what I'm doing. I've been doing lots of different podcasts. I've been on like three different podcasts in the last two weeks and then putting out our own podcast on on YouTube and putting out content all the time. You know, I put up a, a video on Monday, I do a live stream on Tuesday, Triple B TV on Wednesday, Freedom Breeder on Thursday, uh, nothing on Friday currently, but there's always something happening that needs my attention on Friday, on the computer, on the internet. Uh, Saturday the vlog and Sunday, we and Saturday and Sunday, we're having these family Zoom meetings and which are great to stay in contact with family, but it's so much time on the computer. I've spent so much time in front of the computer and wearing these blue light blocking glasses to help my eyes deal with the fact that I'm doing that a lot. But uh, it, it, just, it just all came to a head. I could feel it building last night a little bit. Um, and just, I, I thought about going for a run this morning and I, I should have just gone for a run, but instead I drank the coffee to get that extra boost. <laughs> Damn you, coffee! Damn you, coffee! Where are you going, son? Behind a cloud? That's good. That's good. Um, I just, I just really want to get back to what normal life is. Although, I don't know what normal ever was anyway. But, I, but the big groups, the big groups of people, the reptile shows, the 
crowds, bumping into folks, and I just need to be more patient. It all boils down to learn to be more patient. And I think it ties in with this social media stuff and the online stuff and the instant gratification type of stuff. You post something, immediately people are interacting with it. And it leads me to be less patient with things. Like I, I, it has affected me in a negative way where it's like I, I have less patience. I, I want things, I want things now. I want things instant, which is ridiculous. Like good things come to those who wait. I know that, that's a, that's a fact. But also, sometimes, no, I want it now. <laughs> I want everything now. No, I know it's about the journey. And maybe it's because of less journey. You know, I, I've spent a good amount of time on the road in life. And those of you guys that have watched this channel for a long time know that the road is my second home. And so I haven't been able to go home nearly as much. And right now it's different because I'm leaving the house simply just to leave the house. Like I don't have an, an actual destination where I'm going on a trip and traveling to do this. <clears throat> and hopefully me whining here today helps out some of you guys out there. And, and leave some comments down below if you're feeling the same way. If you feel like you just are really missing the getting out and the, and the being part of something bigger than yourself in the physical world. And not just on this online spectrum. I'm starting to do these zoom meetings for the roaming reptiles things and recording these videos for the kids to watch and i can't wait to get back to actually being with people's kids and showing them these animals and watching their face and handing the animal over to them in person to watch them have this experience and not just through a freaking screen man i'm so sick of having interactions through a goddamn screen <sighs> anyway i I forgot to mention, I think, or I did mention, friend Scott that I met this past weekend with my buddy Matt and Kendall. We came out and we went herping at the Jim Green Trail, which was fantastic. A great little hour and a half getaway from what life has been the past couple months. And we found this king snake, and it was amazing, and I was super stoked to find the king snake. It's only the second time I've ever found a king snake at that spot, and I, I talked about it to him, and I was just hoping that we would find one, and we did. And here's a little clip of it right here that I posted to Instagram. And in the ch description down below, there will be a link for Scott's channel. He does herping trips and much different from my own style where it's mo morally focused on just like checking out the environment. He doesn't do a lot of blabbing to the camera like I do all the time and really checking out the animals. And he, he's got his channel down there. I, I want you guys to go please check it out and, and have a look and, and let me know what you think of Scott's stuff. I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet, but I will take a look at it uh, before I post this video, maybe see what happens but I'm gonna go sit in the back of my car right now and edit the video that I've been filming today while I've been feeling like this and I, I did make a point of wanting to pick up the camera when I'm feeling good energy but I feel like this could benefit people as well so and I, and I do that and you guys know that watch that you know that I do that I'll pick up the camera on days when I'm not feeling it and sometimes good stuff comes out and sometimes it just ends up being me being whiny Ugh. That's what it is, isn't it? That's what it is today. It's the wine vlog without any alcohol. Wine. Look at this. Why am I whining? Look. Only, only a truly, truly spoiled individual would, would find himself whining in a place like this, wouldn't he? Yeah, all right, I'm spoiled. Life is good. Thanks for get, letting me talk, guys, and getting stuff off my chest. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Uh, check out the vlog coming this Saturday where we're actually doing a reptile update. It turns out the video I picked it up was like, what are we doing? Well, I guess we're gonna look at a bunch of animals we haven't seen in a little bit and watch me try and hold it together to the best of my ability mentally, emotionally. Uh, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there.
It's okay to have moments of weakness. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise.